One of the best things about collecting trading cards is the artwork and the rarity of the cards. Other trading card games like Magic and Pokemon have implemented things like full art cards, while Yu-Gi-Oh! has kept consistent borders and framework for their cards ever since its TCG inception in 2002. While Konami has been hesitant to move away from their classic card style, what has changed are Yu-Gi-Oh! card rarities. Originally, Super Rares, Ultra Rares, and Secret Rares were the only rarities in this game, but many others have been introduced since, such as Ultimate Rare, Ghost Rare, Gold Rare, and many more. One of the newest and most popular rarities to be added to Yu-Gi-Oh! is Starlight Rare. This rarity was initially thought to be ugly, too shiny, and fake looking, but this rarity has risen in popularity over the last couple of years. I personally love the rarity and I'm always excited to pull these cards when a new set releases. Oh! Oh! What is happening? What is happening? Yeah! We got it! Red Eyes Dark Dragoon! I have decided to pursue the goal of pulling every Starlight Rare ever made. The journey begins now. What's up guys, we are back with another video and as you guys saw in the intro, we are attempting to pull every Starlight Rare. Obviously not in this video, we're not gonna open like a billion packs and try to pull all of them, but I do wanna do an update. I have pulled in my like lifetime, all my openings on YouTube, we pulled 40 different Starlight Rares. When I calculated this up, I was like, that can't be right. There's no way we pulled that many Starlight Rares. I counted them up. We have in fact pulled that many. We pulled nine out of the Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, so that was almost a quarter of them. So that's kind of cheating because there's 10 in that one, but still 40 Starlight Rares have been pulled on this channel. Channel. So how much does that leave us with? I think there are 86 total at the moment if I counted correctly. So we've pulled almost half of them. So we have 46 to go, which you're like, hey, that's halfway. That's not too bad. But you got to consider that a lot of those were open when that set was brand new and we bought like 10 cases at like the cheapest possible price. And now all these boxes are worth way more and they're a lot harder to find and stuff like that. So these next 46 are going to be really, really hard. But before we get into what we're doing in today's video, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards. We have a Trihorn Dragon Secret Rare reprint and then a Summon Skull. This is from Dark Beginning 1. One, actually it kind of looks like a reprint but it's actually from dark beginning one so it's a really old card all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know which starlight you want to see me pull next that we have not pulled already yo i'm back but ruxin where are you back from if you guys don't know i streamed on whatnot back in 2021 and i've made my return to whatnot if you guys don't know what whatnot is whatnot is a streaming platform where you can sell stuff live and if you're a viewer on whatnot you can show up to the live stream watch the stuff get open watch stuff get sold it's really fun to see the auction prices and people going back back and forth trying to get different stuff. And you might think, I don't really want to spend any money right now. Well, that's where I come in. Use my link down below and you'll get $15 for free when you sign up for whatnot. It doesn't have to be on my stream. It could be on Team Samurai stream. It could be on Simply Unlucky stream. It can be completely unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh because this isn't just a TCG platform. There's also a lot of other cool stuff like shoes and other collectibles like that that are being sold on whatnot. And I will be streaming live Thursday, March 30th at 5 p.m. Central. We'll be selling stuff like epic Yu-Gi-Oh singles and old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And I will be giving away over $500 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this stream. So you guys want to make sure you're there. And some of these giveaways will not require a purchase at all. You can simply be viewing the stream and win. And don't forget to use that link down below to get that $15 off when you come to the stream so you can save yourself some money. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, so in today's video, I grabbed a bunch of packs from sets that we have not pulled a lot of the Starlights yet. Specifically, a couple that I really want to pull. First of all, I have Lightning Overdrive packs, which this is not a great set. But do you know what is inside this? set the starlight black rose dragon so if we could pull this out of here it would be huge because it's one of the cards that i really want as a starlight rare that i've never even owned then a second set that's not very good but inside has an amazing card this is blazing vortex blazing dumpster fire as house of champs would call it inside is the pot of prosperity starlight rare which i actually need pot of prosperities anyway so if i could pull the secret rare as well that'd be great but i haven't pulled like any of the starlights out of these i think i pulled like maybe one out of each one so there's like four different ones that we could pull so we are starting our journey to to pull the next 46 starlights in this video i'm hoping that we also pull a pot of prosperity secret rare while we're at it because that would be pretty awesome so i'm pretty excited i think this is look we're also doing this for ghost shares we're trying to pull every single ghost share i haven't actually checked how many more i need but we've pulled a quite a few ghost shares but definitely not 40 i don't think because there's not as many ghost shares per set so there's probably only 40 total something like that well no i guess it goes to the past there's probably more than that seven cities of the gold wait is this eldritch 
I didn't know Eldritch was in Blazing Vortex. I kind of forgot about that. All right, next pack. What are we going to pull? Let's pull something epic. Lightning Overdrive. Uh, I looked at this set. The best card in here is Diviner of the Herald. That's not a Starlight. It's only 14 bucks, so not very expensive. That's still a great card. If we could pull it, I'd be happy about that. AI Challenge you. We have the Paleozoic Cambro Roaster. The Super Sight. We have the Trap Tricks Versiculo. Now, look, this might be a great card because Trap Tricks have gotten really popular. If you've seen my TCG Player Update video yet, might not have seen it yet, but there's the Trap Trick stuff. It's doing pretty well. All right, I got the price guides up. Blazing Vortex, the pot is still 70 bucks for the Secret Rare. So the, I think the Starlight's like 600, something like that. So it's a big one if we could pull that. Uh, it'd be huge for multiple reasons, not just because we need it, but because it's really expensive and a desired card. Arm Dragon Lightning. We had good luck pulling a pot the other day out of a Mega Tin, so... Ooh, a Live Twin Lilitreet, another nice card. Live Twins are nice. They got a reprint, so that, I mean, you guys know, you've seen my videos. If you saw my Rise of Duelist video, go check it out if you missed it, talking about what happens to sets. You know, they last a couple of years and everything gets reprinted. It kills the value, but the, you know, the sealed value is still really expensive. So that's kind of what's happened with these. It's not really expensive, like sealed yet for these because they weren't very good sets overall, but they uh, are still pretty rough in terms of the reprints. Like anything that was decent out of it has kind of gotten waxed. Okay, let's keep it up. Lightning Overdrive. If we get any Starlight in this video obviously it's going to be a w even if it's something we've already pulled but we've only pulled i think two out of the 10 starlights in these sets so i think the ones that i pulled out of lightning overdrive i'm gonna have to double check and see what it was i was going through all the different ones zw draconic halberd that i've pulled like ever and i couldn't even remember some of them. like i think i pulled that one but i can't remember because it's been like two years oh now now it's coming back to me these were the sets where i pulled the live twin every time so i got a live twin starlight out of both of these sets it was like three sets in a row i think um burst of destiny as well i got a live twin so it was like every time there was a live twin that had a starlight i pulled it it was insane and it was the only one i could pull fabled we have the guitar and a wind witch wind witch chimes i should say let's keep it up let's see what we can get lightning overdrive can you bless us with a black rose dragon it only comes in starlight rare which is if you guys don't know one in 25 boxes to pull a starlight rare not just the black rose specifically because if you go into the specifics you have to times it by five so it's one in 125 to pull the black rose so if you guys remember when i opened up for the uh, stardust you guys could check out those live streams but we did an eight hour stream we did not pull it because we needed to open 13 cases to actually get it because that only barely went over ratio because 10 cases is the ratio to actually pull it because basically one every two there's five starlights so if you want to get a specific one you know on average you got to open like 10 which is insane white baking hilarious super rare card there but it just shows you how hard it is to pull starlight rares it's very difficult that's what makes them so valuable because you really just don't get them like unless you get really really lucky which some of you guys have messaged me or send me tweets and stuff and you're like hey i pulled this in two packs was i lucky i'm like mm -hmm, you were oh and speaking of black rose this is not a black rose it's a ruddy rose dragon raggy this is one of the best cards in the set used to be it's like a 25 dollar card but it got a reprint so it's probably only a couple bucks now but still a great secret rare we will take that it's still a good card and speaking of good cards can we get that pot of prosperity i do not remember because i didn't really like care if i got pot of prosperity last time and i also didn't do as many cases black when i opened blazing vortex i didn't keep up with like if it was short printed or not so i don't remember if this is a short printed secret rare i hope it's not because we would love to pull one it'd be great i remember we did pull one when we opened like a mystery box off ebay and somebody put gave us a blazing vortex box of course because it's like a terrible box but then we ended up pulling the pot of prosperity which was 140 bucks at the time that was before the reprint of the mega 10 so it was a huge pull it was like 145 or something like that Mujin, right now it's like at 70 which is a lot better more affordable you can almost get a play set for the same in 140 that was a that was a lot for one secret rare when you have to play them in three basically all right so far no starlights but we've had some okay pulls it hasn't been too bad let's see what we can get this time one two three four let's see if we can pull that black rose dragon that would be insane we did open three cases of this set trying to get the black rose which obviously as i said 10 cases is the average but still i did it's not like i only opened one case i did open three cases which is 36 boxes to try and get the black rose and i had no luck i did only pull like one starlight out of there so it was kind of a rough rough time for us on average you get one every two so we were a little bit a little bit over uh the average there but oh machina we have the spring and blast war rock skyler the giga clops the skay ritual we have the emr super rare nothing too crazy there let's see what we can get out of lightning overdrive um actually that was that was uh, blazing vortex and i was talking about the the, the wrong thing that's a uh, black roses in the other set which is this set right here scrap raptor is actually a crazy common i can't believe that was a common in that set i mean this set might not be great but it did have scrap raptor trap tricks wait trap tricks calaria that's probably good i don't remember if that one's in the trap tricks deck i've been putting that deck together just because i got some of the structure decks and a lot of the 
cards are in there. And it's like actually a pretty decent deck. So I figured I'd go for it. I don't remember if that one's in there. I can't remember. I threw it together in like a second. I haven't actually played it yet. Arm Dragon Blitz. We got a Ooh, Ruxin special. The War Rocks. Why were War Rocks a thing, man? They're so bad. Neroy, we have the reinforcement of the army's troops. And the S-Force Rappa Kayumara. That is a secret rare. That is not a pot. That's not what we're looking for. That's okay. Let's keep it up. Lightning Overdrive. I guess we'll see. I guess the Trap Trick stuff is probably what we do want to pull because Trap Tricks are burning up right now. They are, they're uh, very popular because they're very, very good. Scream of the Brandon. Not like the best, but they're very affordable. So if you can get a deck that's very affordable and actually somewhat competitive, it's going to do pretty well in terms of like the casual player and stuff because imagine being able to buy three structured decks and actually compete so 30 bucks you know value versus like you know cash zero what was it, like a thousand dollar deck or something like that so a little bit cheaper you know it's like a what three percent of the value um in terms of what the money you have to invest into this the gig gig i don't know how to say that all right lightning overdrive i believe you're gonna have a starlight rare it's gonna happen let's go one two three four we're gonna get that lucky box one in 25 it's gonna happen for both, could you imagine if we pull two Starlight Rares? Each box has a Starlight. That would be insane. Boo Boo Game, Dogmatica. We got the Branded in White. That was before Branded actually got good. So they had some Branded cards ready to go before they actually got popular. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have just a common Stairway, Tri Brigade, Archfiend, War Rock Skyler, the Jai Collapse. We've got the Armor Dragon Ritual, Dogmatica Genesis, and the Meteor Grac. Uh, Gigabros, I cannot say these names. Come on, one, two, three, four. So far, fine pulls, nothing insane. What can we get to turn that around? All we need is one Starlight Rare. It doesn't matter if it's the worst one in the entire set. I don't think I pulled the worst one out of either of these, so it'd be good. Laval Vol, X Lord, so we got some Lavals. Come on, Blazing Vortex, give us that pot of prosperity, give us that luck. I'll have a, a mismatching set, one with the Prismatic Secret, one with the regular Secret. I won't be mad. Then we can just pull a Starlight and have three mismatched. That'd be the way to play them, right? Dogmatica Genesis. The Giga Clops, we've got the Army Troops, and the Dream Mirror Tormentor. Dream Mirrors, I feel like I've never seen anyone play them. Have they ever been good? Let me know in the comments. All right, more packs. Uh, I feel like we have a lot of packs left. I feel like I've opened a lot, and we're still, like, only halfway through. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Let me know if you guys want to see. Maybe we should. I should go through and try to, after we do something like this, try to calculate how many of each ultimate rare I've pulled. S-Force Chase, that's an ultra rare. Imagine trying to like go through all my videos like, have I ever pulled this ultimate rare from Generation Force or something like that? That would be a lot of work, but it would be pretty fun to, uh, you know, try and make that goal happen. But I think Ghosts and Starlights is a better place to start because there's a lot less of them. They're easier to chronicle. They're also way harder to pull though, so it might take longer. S4 Showdown, Virtual World. Oh, the Hime Toto. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four. Can we pull something epic? We have Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. That's, I've never noticed. That's a retrain. You and I, we got the Binary Blader, the Special Shower, One Curry Way, War Rock Generations, the Pegasus Twin Saber. Ooh, and a Mysterion, the Dragon Crown. This is actually a pretty good card. This is probably one of the better cards in the set. Uh, I think you use this in the Dark Magician deck every once in a while. You know, Dark Magician is not great, but you could use it in there. Blazing Vortex up next. What shall we pull? Mysterion, I think, was actually somewhat valuable for a little bit. I think it did get a reprint as well, though. One, two, three, four. It might have even been an ultra reprint, too. So it was like the same rarity, which is always rough on the original print when you print it in the exact same rarity. So it's like, ah, oh, why do I even want the original? We got the Rocky. We got the Steel Star Regulator. And the Paramentifuls Azort List. That's a super rare. Okay. Send us some luck, guys. From the comments, I need your luck to pull a Starlight Rare one by one. Black Eyes, Amaze Attraction. It's always fun to like revisit some of these older sets, even though they weren't like that great. But at the time, they were like really not that great. So now it's like they're more interesting because they've kind of aged a little bit to see what is held up. So like Pot of Prosperity, even a couple years later, is still absurd because with only one reprint, it's still so hard to get. And the Megaton 2022s was great and it has the nice prismatic secret, but Starlight Rare is still uh, holding up pretty well as well. We have the Paramedical Fusion, Guitar, Branga, and the Meteor Actor, Gigabaros, Gigabaros, something like that. I don't know. Not sure if I've been alternating correctly. I've been trying to, but these, these sets always, I get them mixed up in general because they have similar colors and then they're both not that great in terms of like, like actual cards inside. So I get them mixed up because they were close together as well. S-Forge Edge Rager, Razor, and now I'm trying to open them back to back. That, yeah, it's like, okay, see, I messed it up, but I fixed it that time. Don't worry. All we need is a pot of prosperity and we are going to be happy, guys. Well, let's get that open. 
There we go. One, two, three, four. If we get a Starlight Rare, we will really be happy. Archfiend Staff, War Rock, we got Ordeal. Also, if we do pull like a Starlight out of one of these, it's going to be crazy because they've been sitting in my room for a really long time. And it's like, I've been sitting with the Starlight Rare this whole time. We got a Platina. It's always interesting to think like if you have a bunch of boxes sealed, you can be like, huh, I wonder if there's Starlights in there. You know, it's like, I wonder how many Starlights. Do we got any error cases around here, error boxes, you know, that's just sitting there and I have no idea. If you're a sealed guy and you don't open stuff, I bet you guys wonder that all the time because I keep some stuff sealed, but then I end up opening it usually. So now I Milius, but I wonder that every time I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's in there. Imagine if there's like, you know, five collector rares instead of four, or maybe there's like two starlights in one of those cases, or maybe it's like an error case and they've got four in a pack like that. No, what was it? Dimension Force where that happened. We got Archfiend Staff, Icy Breeze. I cannot pull the card. Neroy, War Rock Skyler, Professor, and War Rock Force Show. Okay, War Rocks. At it again. Yeah. Making their making their presence known. No, thank you. It's okay if you don't. It's okay if you don't make your presence known. We're okay with that. We got the Beaky, the Arm Sage, Ferrana Guardian Sphinx, Hidden Springs, Sky Scourge, Zexal Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare, War Rock Generations, and the Super Sovereign Serpent of Golconda. Down to what appears to be the last 12 to 15 packs. I'm just guessing because I always guess wrong. One, two, three, four. Can we get, I don't know if we've gotten a second start like secret rare here or not. I hope we haven't. I really can't remember to be honest. I'm getting kind of mixed up. We have Neroy. We have Linear. We have Arm Dragon Thunder level five. That's not a great card. The Arm Dragons have been reprinted. Did anyone ever even try to play them? I never saw it. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'll try and Master Duel at some point on my Twitch stream. Go check that out. Twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. Streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday for you guys. We have War Rock Generations, Pegasus Twin, and a Zexel Construction. Another super rare from Zexel. I feel like I have less Lightning Overdrive left. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. One, two, three, four. Black Rose Dragon. Here we come. Starlight Rare. Black Eyes. Come on. Black Eyes to Black Rose. You and I. Let's go. I'm talking to you, Black Rose. Starlight Rare. Let's do this. We have a Tri Brigade. The Rampate. Rampart. Rampant. Rampant. Rampager. There we go. I got it. There's no Rampart. Two, three, four. We figured it out. But what there is, is a Starlight Prosperity. Here we go. Specimen. Arm Dragon Blitz. Branga. The Gamma, that's a Ruxin special. We got the Ingunar, the Lightning, and a Wind Witch Freeze Bell. Not a bad card either. Ultra Rare, we'll take that. How long has it been since we had pulled an Ultra before that? It feels like it was a long time. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a cold streak there. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves in the very end here. We have the Judge of the Ice Barrier, Star Mine, Mujin. We have the Sunvine, Zexal Alliance, AI Meet You, Amazement Special Show, Scrap Raptor, and a Ruddy Rose Witch. So for, hey, look, Rose. There's a Rose in the name. So maybe that's a good sign because we were looking for a rose, a black rose, a starlight black rose. Indeed. Sprint, Breath, Ojama Pink, Synchro Transmission, Armor Dragon Ritual, Ancient Warrior Saga. We have the Knights of the Armor Dragon, Heavy Metaphors, Emolgam, and the Metaphors Vanisher. So more Metaphors. Okay, I definitely need to do one of these. Somehow got one ahead here. One, two, or two ahead, actually. We have a War Rock Orpus, Ordeal, Wind Witch Blizzard Bell, Captain Sargus, Springens Call, Reinforcement of the Army's Troops, Springens Rocky, the Steel Star Regulator, and Underdog Secret Rare. No, it has Alpha on it, Alpha the Master of Beasts, but no, not the right Secret Rare, not what we're looking for. It wasn't a pot, it wasn't a pot, but don't worry, we can hold out for a Starlight Rare. That is what can really help. Starlight, not only help, but that would be a big time win. The Starlight Rare Pot of Prosperity, one I've never pulled. We have an Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. That is certainly not a Starlight at all, much less a Pot of Prosperity, that's for sure. Eight packs to go, guys. Two, three, four. Let's see what we shall get here. War Rock, Clock Arc, come on. War Rock Big Blow, Screams of the Branded, Dark Eye Nightmare, War Rock Generations, Bougie Candescence. We got the Merry Go Round and a War Rock Winto. Oh my goodness, seven packs. This is not looking so good, guys, for our, our beginning of our Starlight Search. But honestly, this perfectly exemplifies why trying to pull every Starlight Rare is not going to be easy because they are very, very, very hard to pull. Icebreed Refrain, S-Force, Aura Fist. Okay, Aura Fist. The Aura Fist. Interesting. All right, we're going back to back Blazing Vortex as we have hope that there's a Starlight in here. Breath of Acclamation, Ojama Pink, Synchro Transmission, S-Force, Fairy Archer, Dogmatic of Genesis, the Giga Clops, we have Reinforcement the Army's Troops, and the Mahavilo Light of Heavens. I forgot Mahavilo got some, like a retrain. That's very strange. Third to last Lightning Overdrive. I mean, we are into the fourth case of Lightning Overdrive boxes I've opened. It's probably more than that, because I've definitely opened more than those three that we opened on stream, but 
We've opened at least three cases trying to pull the Black Rose and have not pulled it. Judgment of the Branded, Dog Tag, Yanamori. There's a secret rare. It's the B Bing Cleanser of the research. I remember this being a not good card when, I, when it first came out. So hopefully it's aged well. It's plants. So that's cool. All right. Two packs left of each. What can we get? Will it be a Starlight Rare? Here we go. Fairway. Oh, that's a fairway? Stairway. <laughs> it's not playing golf here. Okay. Neroy, we have the Reinforcement of the Army's Troops and the Dragoonity Knight. Dragoonities are literally in every set. If you have not noticed that, is drop the pack. Literally the most uh, popular archetype in terms of number of cards. There's just a million Dragoonity cards. You and I, we have Hidden Springs, Ferrani Guardian Sphinx, the Arm Sage, Dogmatic Calamity, AI Meet You, Yami Mori, we have the Brothers, and the Rocks Rose Dragon. All right, two packs left. Blazing Vortex. What will we pull? Our final pack, will it be the Pot of Prosperity Starlight? Come on, make it happen. The fabled uh, beaver guy. We have the uh, Virtual World Gate, the Beaufort, the Ritual, Curious Path. We have the Knight of the Armor, the Heaven Metaphors, and the Psychic Eraser Laser. I remember this actually being like kind of a good card in terms of value at the beginning. Okay, Lightning Overdrive, final pack. What can you pull for us in our hunt for every Starlight Rare ever made? Will we make it happen? Come on, War Rock Muhammad, Rapid Racing, Rose Shoot. We got the Spring and Brothers, the Judgment of the Branded, Scrap Raptor, Sun Avalon Daphne, and our final card is Expendable Die. So, guys, no Starlight Rares in our first attempt here, but we've already pulled 40, so we can pat ourselves on the back for that. 46 to go, and they're constantly coming out. So, when the new sets come out, we gotta try and pull as many as possible. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.